Can a defense attorney use prior pretrial testimony or prior trial testimony in order to refresh your memory during cross-examination during your trial? You want to know the answer? Come join me as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. Okay, so here's the scenario. You brought a lawsuit against your doctor claiming that he was careless and caused you significant harm and injury. The doctor disputes everything you claim, which means that your case is going to trial. Okay, so two or three years down the road, which is how long it takes for these cases to get to trial, so now your attorney calls you up to the witness stand and now you testify for a period of time. He finally finishes and sits down, and now the defense lawyer gets a chance to get up and begin cross-examining you. And while he's asking you questions, he asks you things like, Hey, Mrs. Jones, what complaints did you make to Dr. Gold on the very first visit? And you say, I don't remember. And then he says, Mrs. Jones, what complaints did you make to Dr. Gold on the second visit? I'm not sure. Okay, what complaints did you make to Dr. Gold on the third visit? I don't remember and the fourth visit, and the fifth, and the sixth, and you just don't remember any of the specifics about what it was that you complained of on each and every visit. Can the defense attorney at that point turn around and use, for example, use medical records to try and refresh your memory so that the jury understands what it was that you actually complained of on those particular visits? The answer is, yes, he can. He can take a medical record, he can take his client's own medical record, the doctor, and say, okay, Mrs. Jones, according to the records we have here in evidence, it shows that on the very first visit you complained of having pain in your left breast. Does that refresh your memory? Yes or no? And now, if it's yes, great, now he'll move on. If it's no, again, he may use something else to try and refresh your memory. Mrs. Jones, do you remember a year ago being asked question by me? In your attorney's office during the pretrial questioning? Yes, I do. And on page 27, I asked you the following question. Did you have any specific complaints to the doctor on the very first visit? And your answer on page 27, line 17 says, yes, I complained of having pain in my left breast. Does that refresh your memory about what it was that you complained of? Yes or no? So what's going on here? What's going on here is that the attorney is now trying to use other documents, other evidence, other testimony in order to try and refresh the witness's testimony. Now, why would an attorney who's cross-examining a witness try and get them to refresh their memory? One reason may be that the defense attorney wants to get the jury to hear, in her own words, exactly what it was that she complained of. Maybe they're arguing that she didn't complain about certain things, and now the patient, the injured patient, is saying, yes, I did. Well, now he wants the jury to hear it in her own words. Sure, he can bring in his medical expert, and yes, he can bring in other people to talk about what's contained in his client's medical records. And obviously, the doctor who's being sued can also tell the jury about what it was that she complained of based upon his medical records and how those medical records were made at the time of the visit when no litigation was contemplated and no one was suing anybody and how these are made in the ordinary course of business and kept in the ordinary course of business. So again, it shows a pattern of why those records are there. But now again, the attorney is using other evidence, other documents, other pretrial testimony in order to try and get this witness to remember something that she claims she just can't remember. Now, can the attorney also use prior trial testimony to get the witness to try and remember something? And the answer is yes, and let me show you how that might work. All right, Mrs. Jones, I want you to understand that another witness has come into court to testify before you. You were here when you saw that, isn't that true? Yes. In fact, it was your neighbor. Do you remember that? Yes. And you were sitting in the back of the courtroom when your neighbor came in to testify, isn't that true? Yes. And you were there when your lawyer asked questions of your neighbor, isn't that right? Yes. And you were there when I got to cross-examine that witness, isn't that true? Yes. And just a day or two earlier when that witness came in to testify, you heard this witness say X, Y, and Z, and that you had told her specifically that you made the following complaints to your doctor on the very first visit. You were here when she said that, isn't that true? Yes. And you don't dispute what she said, isn't that true? Correct. So this is just an additional way to try and get the witness to remember something when now all of a sudden they claim, I don't remember. I understand you're watching this video because you likely have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter happened here in New York and you have not yet started a lawsuit but are thinking about bringing one and still have questions, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to talk to you.
You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.